Welcome, fellow traders, to another exciting episode on Edge Forex. Today, we're diving deep into the world of Forex charts and indicators. If you're ready to boost your trading skills and increase your chances of making money, you're in the right place. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our valuable Forex insights. So, what exactly is a Forex chart? Well, think of it as your roadmap in the world of currency trading. A Forex chart shows you the exchange rate between two currencies and how it has changed over time. Whether you're eyeing the EURUST, GBP, JPY, or any other currency pair, these charts are your key to understanding the markets. Let's talk about the different types of Forex charts. First up, we have line charts. These are the simplest of the bunch. Line charts connect the closing prices of a currency pair over time, creating a visual representation of its rise and fall. Moving on to bar charts. These are a bit more detailed. Bar charts display the opening and closing prices, as well as the highs and lows. The vertical bar shows the trading range, with the bottom indicating the lowest price and the top showing the highest. Hash marks on the left and right display the opening and closing prices. And last but not least, candlestick charts. These are for the data-hungry traders among us. Candlestick charts use blocks in the middle to represent the range between the opening and closing prices. Filled or colored blocks indicate that the closing price was lower than the opening, while unfilled or differently colored blocks show the opposite. Now, let's talk about Forex indicators, the tools that help traders make sense of Forex charts. The most common indicator is the simple moving average line. It's calculated by adding up the closing prices of a set period and dividing by the time within that period. For instance, a 5-hour SMA is calculated by adding 5 closing prices and dividing by 5. Next, we have Bollinger Bands. These measure market volatility. When the bands come close together, it's called a squeeze, signaling potential trading opportunities due to increased volatility. Bands that are wider apart indicate decreased volatility, suggesting it might be time to exit a trade. And finally, the Relative Strength Index. It helps identify overbought and oversold conditions in the market. RSI readings below 30 suggest the market is oversold, potentially signaling a buy opportunity. Readings above 70 indicate the market is overbought, suggesting a sell opportunity may be on the horizon. There you have it, traders. If you found this video informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave your questions or topics you'd like us to cover in the comments below. Happy trading!